Apply the translate process skill to solve this 700 level geometry question from the official guide advanced book. Pause the video while you're solving and resume when you're done. Okay, so let's solve this question. A circular rim 28 inches in diameter rotates, we're talking about rotation here, the same number of inches per second as the circular rim 35 inches in diameter. So, so far what you know is that there are two rims over here and they rotate the same number of inches per second. Okay. Now, if the smaller rim, that is if the 28 inch rim makes X revolutions per second, how many revolutions per minute? Okay, so notice here we were talking about seconds here and here there's minute. Does the larger rim, that is a 35 inch rim, make in terms of X? So we need to find the revolutions per second of the larger rim. Okay, we may have to go back reading the information, but let's, let's capture the information that we have. Okay, what I'm going to pick up first is this part here x revolutions per second of the 28 inch rim and again once you read the question statement uh, part by part and it's okay to go back into the question statement and take up one part at a time uh, to do the translation okay so that's absolutely fine so what we've been given is revolution so what is one revolution okay so we're going to write that down for for this 28 inch rim okay now just understand what a revolution is revolution is and let me write this down. Let's use. Okay. One revolution covers one circumference, right? In inches, right? So here we are talking about in inches. Okay. This is the revolution, this is the inches, right? One, one circumference. And again, just to be clear, because units are really important here, we're going to write this down again, okay? Which means that X revolutions will cover how many X times the circumference in inches again, talking about inches, okay? And what, what have you been given? We've been given X revolutions per second, which means that x into 28 pi, that's your circumference, inches per second. This is the value for your 28 inch rim. Okay. All I've done is, all I've done over here is translated circumference into its actual terms, 28 pi, pi d, that's the circumference, right? Now we're going to write the same thing for the 35 inch rim use the same pen yeah 35 inch rim okay what would it be let's assume that this number is y revolutions per second which would be equal to what y into 35 pi inches per second right now what have we been given let's go back over here now i'm going to get this part over here they have the same number of inches per second. So what does that mean? I'm going to apply this definition here, this, this information here. And what do I get? I get that x 28 pi is equal to y 35 pi. Okay. Let's simplify. Pi and pi gets cancelled. We needed y in terms of x. So this implies y is equal to 28 over 35 x which is equal to 4 by 5 x what is it revolutions per second okay remember we were dealing with revolutions per second right x revolutions per second y revolutions per second but what is it that we need we need revolutions per minute so this is point number three here right so once we put that part what do we get we get 4x by 5 revolutions per second. We have to convert it into minutes. So let's do 60 seconds over 1 minute. What do we get? Second, the seconds gets cancelled. What we get is 48x of revolutions per minute. Let's write down the units more succinctly. Revolutions per minute. Okay, that's your answer.
okay and let's uh, yeah so that's your answer now what i want you to focus on is this various steps that we have done we read the question statement little by little and we identified these various parts and then we translated each part at a time first we translated number one over here then we translate we brought in part number two and we translated that okay and we understood okay w that there is this equation there is this uh, relationship that exists and then we got the unit part number three and we did that translation over here so there are three different levels of translation that we needed to do but the identification of those levels started from the the review of the question statement as we read it we saw okay there is something given about the number of inches then the information about the revolutions per second and then what is it that we need we need revolutions per minute okay each of those entities from the question statement has been used at various steps in your solution Okay, so again, very, very important to master this process skill so that you can, you can step by step get closer uh, to, to the solution. So, begin applying translate process skills from this point onwards. Happy learning!